Welcome back. Time for another video. I've got more cool things in the mail a few days ago. And Wham Bam just sent me their flexible build system for my Elegoo Mars resin printer. This is so cool. Um, sometimes people have trouble with stubborn prints getting them off the build plate and scraping them and gouging. With their flexible build system, you just simply pop it off the sheet. It's very simple and easy like you do on the FDM printer. It's a flex sheet. And let's open up the box and take a look at it. And here's a box that came in the mail. It says designed in Florida and made in China. Let's see if we can open this up here. There we go. Let's see what we got. Like a little throwing star or paint it up and use it for a, I don't know, something. Nice little package. Wow. It even says wham bam right on it. It's got a corner there so you can grab it with your hand and lift it off. Yeah, it's got a lot of magnetism to it. There's wham bam on the magnet. Let's take a look at the paperwork. Cool. We've got stickers. <laughs> I love stickers. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. And their web address. Oh, we got more stickers. Here we go. We got two of them. Two stickers. Uh, silicone carbide waterproof sandpaper. Okay, we got some sandpaper for sand, uh, scuffing up your build surface. Little thank you card from the company. Thank you for purchasing a Wamban flexible build system for resin printers. You're going to love this system. And what's included in the kit, your spring steel build plate, high strength magnet, Sheet back with solvent. It's got 3M adhesive, which is the best. A piece of 400 grit sandpaper, wet and dry sandpaper, for scuffing up the build plate as needed. And two Wham Bam stickers. And it explains how to go on about positioning it, how to sand it, clean it. So I'm going to clean it thoroughly with a IPA. Then I'll lightly scuff it up, wipe it off again with IPA. Once it's dry, we'll start applying. And we'll go over and take a look at their website here in a minute. But very simple to use. Explained very well. So this ought to be fun. And I know once you put the sticker on, you've got to wait at least a day. They want you to wait 24 hours for it to properly bond to the build surface before you use it. So... Let me uh, change my camera here and we'll start putting her together. Alrighty, step one. It says clean your build plate thoroughly. This is the most Im important part. Scrub in an alcohol bath, wipe dry. Perhaps even cure under sun or UV to ensure that there is no residue. And clean one or more times with uh, alcohol and let dry thoroughly. Alrighty, got my alcohol, got my rag. Thoroughly clean it. All 
Alrighty, that's dry. It's been about five minutes, so that's good to go. Next, we're going to take our magnetic pad, do a test fit. Do not remove the backing yet. Let's just set it on there and see how it lines up. It's looking good. Now, first thing we're going to do, we're going to peel off the bottom corner. Peel it back just a little bit. I'm going to set it on my tabletop. Line up the sides. That way it's perfectly flush with the bottom. Slowly go back and forth working it. Lift up the magnet, grab the sticker. Peel a little bit more off. Go about another half an inch or so. And with your thumb, just work it back and forth. Make sure there's no air, that way you won't get no air bubbles. Pull the sticker back a little bit more. Work it back and forth. And keep going. Keep pulling it back about a half inch and work it back and forth. Now, if for some reason you get it off a little bit and it's overhanging the build plate, these magnets cut very easy. You can take a razor blade and you can just slide it along the metal edge and you can cut that magnet off. It won't. But, like I say, I usually, to get it started straight and flat, I put it down here on my tabletop, get the bottom lined up, hold my fingers on the sides to keep it flush with the sides. And that's how I usually get to get it started. Okay, it says to let that cure for up to 72 hours, but to get 90%, get it to adhere at least 90%, wait 24 hours. Now, the sandpaper that came with this kit, the 400 grit wet and dry, that's for your build plate. At some point in time, when your build plate doesn't adhere, things don't adhere to it as well as you would like, you can take the wet and dry sandpaper, get it wet in water, and you can scuff it up. You know, scuff it up one direction and then go the other direction. And then clean it and wipe it off with IPA as you normally would and keep using it. That's what the sandpaper is for. And the stickers, well, you can put them wherever you want. they got two really cool stickers, so that was really nice of them to send that. And I appreciate it. So, we're going to let this cure overnight. And let me jump over to their website and let's look at all their products. And then, by that time, it should be cured. And we'll come back and we'll continue. Let's see... And it grabs real good. So when it's on your printer, when it's on your printer basically like that, you'll just grab that flex sheet with your print on it. You can just pop it off, then take it over and uh, clean the print. Once you clean off the build surface, you simply reattach it, line it up, and you start your next print. So that's very cool. And here's their website, whambamsystems.com take a look yeah they got their flexible build system for FDM printers they sell hot boxes they have their flexible build system for all different sizes of resin printers then they sell slap mats to keep all your accessories on if you have spills or any problems it'll wind up on the slap mat I'm gonna be doing another video on that and we'll go into that um, that's a great product also and here's all their different sizes for FDM let's go back up to resin and here's all their, their flexible build system for resin printers. They have many different ones here for different printers. And if you have a custom size and something that's not listed here, you can contact them and I believe they can make it for you. Because the flexible build system is an additional 2.6 millimeters, you must print a spacer. Out of FDM or resin, just print a small little plastic spacer. Take off the two screws that hold the little bar that trips the optical sensor down here at the bottom and then once that's installed you relevel your, your build plate as normal and you're ready to rock
Let me show you what I'm printing here. This is a Deadpool bust I got off of my mini factory by Eastman. And it's available for download. You guys want to print this, there will be a link in the description below where you can find this at. It required no supports whatsoever. I hollowed it, uh, two millimeter layer thickness. Alrighty, let's see how it came out. Came out really nice. And wham, comes off that easy. So I'll just wipe this up, clean up a little IPA, put it back on, I'm ready to go for the next print. Well, that's about it, guys. If you'd like to check out this product from Wham Bam, head over to their website at whambamsystems.com where they got their flexible build system for resin or FDM. They got their hot box, then they got their slap mat. And I just posted a video yesterday on the slap mat and it's many, many wonderful uses and what you can do with it and you know, what it can be used for. Anyway, please like, subscribe, share the video. If you got any comments for me, please leave them down below, good, bad, or otherwise. I love feedback. If you have any ideas for any upcoming, upcoming videos I might do, please let me know in the comments. I'd appreciate it. So thank you very much and happy printing. Take care. Wham-bam! Wham-bam!